We are back. Uh, Bunny Flox here. Second interview with a hacker. I have Charles Shearer here, AKA the BSD Bandit. He agreed to come out. Appreciate you coming out, making the drive. Oh yeah, yes. anytime, you know it. Thank you, thank you. First things first, let's start with, how did you get the BSD Bandit name? What's the background behind that? Oh, so I was in college in like 99. Okay. And everyone was using really just Microsoft right. and, you know, a little bit, a little sprinkle of Linux. And then I was playing around with Linux at the time, Slackware, um, Red Hat, right. Mandrake, because it wasn't even Mandrivia yet, it was right. Mandrake. Okay. It had eight CDs. Okay. And then I discovered OpenBSD first. I was like, oh, this is cool. I said, let me just play around with this a little bit more. And it was just like hardcore Unix. Right. So I was like, okay. And I got like used to it. I started building like a DNS server, DACP server. Right. Then I moved over to FreeBSD. I said, you know what? This is where I stay. And then a couple of my friends were like, you know what? You're like a bandit. You're always like going left with everything else. So I said, <gasps> BSD, bandit, and Perfect. boom. And okay. the name was born. So I've had that since like 99. And I've used that on IRC ever since. Jeez, what was I doing in 99? <laughs> Not this stuff, for sure. <laughs> Okay. What's uh, what's your current InfoSec cyber specialty? Like, what are you working on now? What is your field and what do you work on? Well, I'm penetration tester slash threat hunter. So the threat hunting part is very interesting right, because um, more so like on the blue team and make sure the red team. So I'm okay. learning a little bit of both and actually just having fun really with, with both. Nice. <laughs> so nice. we focus mostly on, um, I've been hacking a lot with Windows lately and Active yeah. Directory okay. and getting into some real interesting stuff. And of course, um, doing a lot of stuff with um, like bypass and stuff with like .NET, mm -hmm. moving over away from like kind of like with PowerShell because most of the time, yeah, are, yeah, PowerShell, you're actually getting caught, especially on a red team engagement. Yeah. So I've been spending a lot of time dealing with like C sharp and my new lang, my boo thing, <laughs> boo lang. <laughs> uh, okay. right. It's in the .NET world, so I've been having some fun with that. And nice. shout out to Silent Trinity. What, what advice do you have for any inspiring people that want to break into what you're doing, your type of field? Um, general, generalized, mm -hmm. pen test, red team, OSCP type stuff. Just in general, just I would say just start, just pick anything. Mm -hmm. Whether it's, if you're interested in web, if you're a web guy, go after web app hacking. And just, just get started, you know? Yeah, right. There's no, I tell people all the time, there's no race, it's just a journey. Right. And everybody has their own journey. So you just pick something and just like learn as much as you can about it, have fun with it, and, and you'll learn the different security in, secure ins and outs of something. Right. Yeah. I started out with wireless. <clears throat> okay. I was a wireless guy. Yeah. So I was buying up different antennas. I did the whole Pringle, the Cantana. Mm -hmm. I did the war driving. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, I still have a Yagi to this day. Nice. Okay. You know, the RFID stuff. So Kismet. Yep. Right. <laughs> and crack like MG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, better cap. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mess around with some of that stuff too. Yeah. I fell off though when I when I dived into OSCP because they weren't really talking about none of that stuff. Right. That's the OSWP. Yeah. yeah. So but that's you can't, more you can't so. take that unless you get the. There is it like a, no. There's no set. Oh. Okay. No. So if you want, I took the OSWP first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then I took the OSCP. And that was probably easier, right? Because it's, it's it was, less material. It was less material, but I was interested in wireless. Yeah. So that was okay. my path and journey. I was like, oh. I did not and know I that. saw okay. Offensive Security was like offering OSWP. So I was like, oh, <clears throat> I'm going to do this. I get to do wireless hacking and get certified in it. That's pretty cool. I don't know. I, I think I read somewhere. Or I just maybe I, I assume. But There's I no set order. You most get people. OSCP first and then go to the No, office. no, yeah. And most people, they do OSCP. And then OSCE, and then right. they kind of That was kind of, of the from plan there. that I was going to do. Yeah. So you but can it, jump straight to OSCE? You can do OSCE without <coughs> having an OSCP. Okay. Yeah. No set okay, look, I look, learn something new on it. There you go. Look, look at that. that. <laughs> nice. That's what we do this for. Mm hmm. Oh, da, da, da. Well, we got more questions about it. I'll yeah, definitely answer yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I'll shoot this at you. How do you pass OSCP? <laughs> well, I'll, right. I'll, 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 I will put it to you this way. Definitely, and I say definitely, when you're, you know, of course, do the, the boxes, do all the labs, do right. the labs, exercises, do the, um, the hack the box lessons as well, too, and Vone Hub, right? Mm -hmm. Now, when you get to the exam, and I recommend anybody doing this, start off with the buffer overflow piece first. Knock that out. That is the longest, <laughs> okay? Right, right. And then you kind of, you know, maneuver to doing the other boxes. Hold on to your lifeline. Your lifeline meaning Metasploit. you can use Metasploit. Right, right. Hold on to that as long as you can 
when you feel you can't hold on any longer, use that well, lifeline. Here's a question. So here's, here's, a, here's a question. So, so yeah. I took the test twice. Obviously, mm -hmm. I failed twice. After you, how do you decide which which box to use Metasploit on? Is there like a trick or something that's like, hey, okay, this is the one that's actually going to work on? It's just the the box that you're having the most trouble with. That's what I did. Okay. The box that I was having the most so trouble 25, with. Twenty five. Twenty five point box. Mm -hmm. okay, definitely. Okay, twenty five point box. Or if you're 10. down by ten, mm -hmm. use it for the ten. Yeah. You know. Okay. And that's that would be my advice. That's the that's the recommendation I would okay. give. Okay. So I think my my second time I used it on a ten point. I mean mm -hmm. I wasn't really getting anywhere, but I used it on a ten point and none of the the modules were working. So then right. I know at that point I was done. I couldn't I couldn't really use it again. On right. No, I can't so use it like, again. Once you use it, so that's why I say you got to hold out until yeah. you absolutely sure right. this is where you want to go and then just go do it. Nice. That's that's the key. All right. Um, do you have any highlights uh, in your InfoSec career that you want to share, like things that made you who you are today? Oh, man. Things that can inspire people. <laughs> well, highlight for me, and this was like, like huge. So I start out as a PC tech. Okay. And I start out just making cables for seven months with no pay. Ca Insane. Whoa, what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seven months? Seven months, no Full time? pay. Making cables, putting the making cables, the doing the punch green. downs, oh, Jesus. Um, helping the PC techs with different things, carrying right. boxes for the network gotcha. engineers. Okay. Oh yeah. I got you. <laughs> seven months. So that was seven months of no pay. Parents telling me I need to get a job. This yeah. is not working. The whole bit. But I stuck it out. A lot of ramen noodles. Right. Yeah. A lot of pop tarts right. and all the right. other unhealthy <laughs> junk you can think of. Okay. How did you get roped into that? It was just a passion. That's oh, okay. it. You know, I said, you know what? This is what I want to do. Nothing's going to stop me now. And this is it. It's full throttle. I'm in. Right. So once I, after seven months, they started paying me a little bit. And then the email administrator quit. There you go. And I got, I just got started as a sysadmin for Novell Netware. Okay. Okay. 411. Nice. So I got to learn about IPX, SPX. That so entire like protocol segue, like they, they already had you there. So like, okay, you're here already. Just go ahead and mm -hmm. bring it over here. And okay. then that's all I did day and night was Novell. Nice. And the boss, I never forget, my boss had a book of Novell in his hand and group wise in his hand. Mm -hmm. He sat it on my desk and he said, "You're the new email administrator. Don't mess up." Volunteer. And he shut my door. <laughs> that was it. I didn't promotion. know anything promotion. about anything. Did he pay you for that role? I'm assuming. At, At the point. time, no. Okay. <laughs> At the time, no. <laughs> and they, I was getting paid, but I didn't get the, the raise or whatnot. Right, right. So I was getting paid. But at that time, like, there was no raise, no promotion. Like, here you go. And I took it and just went crazy with it. Nice. So you used that. So as far as a highlight, you used that opportunity to break into the, to the field, to the mm -hmm. industry. Okay. Yeah, I used that experience. I did. I was at, um, and this was at Virginia State University. Okay. So I got hired right out of school. Oh, oh, okay. okay yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. And then I just literally, every opportunity they had, I was just like jumped on it. Nice. Like okay. literally, it was in Novell Netwear, and then they had an opportunity for Solaris, and this is where the Unix connection coming. I'm like, yeah. oh, Solaris? Nice. Sure, yeah. I could do Solaris. I've been doing Linux and BSD while I was in college. Right. <laughs> and the transition was great, and it was, that was Solaris 8. Nice. Okay, so that, so that question was, uh, what was the highlight? I guess the next one would be, and, what is a regret? And I guess you kind of, uh, I don't know, if you're yeah, working no, for seven months for free. <laughs> that you, was, a, you know what? I don't call that a regret. The, mm -hmm. the biggest regret, I, I'll say, is not taking the opportunity to learn PeopleSoft. Okay. I'll say that was my biggest regret, and that was 96. Okay. I had the opportunity to learn PeopleSoft, but I was 16. Okay. And I was just like. So for those that don't know, because I don't know, what's yeah. PeopleSoft? <laughs> PeopleSoft was, it's, it was more like, kind of like, I guess like a SAP side of the house. I never got into it. Okay. But I saw people were making insane amount of money using PeopleSoft. And I was mm -hmm. like, wow. My next door neighbor, he was a Novell guy okay. growing up. Nice. And he was like, you need to learn PeopleSoft. Since you get into the computer stuff, so I, ah, I don't care about people solve. It's no big deal. Right. It'll probably be dead in a year. And right. no, it wasn't. Right. So I'll say that was my biggest regret. Okay. But anything else, like working for seven months, heck no. So more of the story, if there's any time, you know, any time that you have to learn something, do it. On it right? <laughs> yes. Um, learning really takes you far, especially if you can learn it for free. Because mm -hmm. uh, we all know college is not uh, affordable for anybody. No. <laughs> <laughs> At all. So learn. Always keep learning. Mm hmm you're known on Twitter for putting out positive messages. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been plenty of times, you know, I can tell you, 
Um, you know, wake up and feeling down, gotta go to work, whatever. Then I scroll and I see your video and you're being positive, <laughs> spreading love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just uplifting. And it's, it's good to see mm -hmm. what inspired that. How long you been doing that for? So, what inspired that is this. So, a year ago, I've been doing this for like, yeah, it's almost been almost two years next year. Okay. So, a year ago, I was just looking on my Twitter feed and everything was just so toxic, negative, people were depressed. Yeah. everything like it right. was just like a dumpster fire Negative news, yeah. and I said you know what I want to change the narrative because remember as hackers we don't accept things the way they are right. we make changes right. and we try to make it for the better you right. know right to so improve, yeah. yeah so I was just like you know what I start putting out positive tweets at first I did tweets so the tweets were you know people would get the likes and whatnot and I was like you know what we're in the age of video let me do video. Right. And I just started doing videos just saying, you know, hey, you can make it through your day. This is why we got into this in the first place. It was our passion. Right. We didn't get into tech or any like programming or mm -hmm. whatever because we were told to. This was something that we found, mm -hmm. we were passionate about, and we just happened to make a living at it. So this is a privilege, it's not a right. So we have the privilege of every day waking up and doing what you enjoy doing. What you love, yeah. So don't take it for granted. I mean, there's a lot harder things out there in life. Right, right. So right. why not just, you know, be positive about it? You know, you're waking up, you're doing what you want to do. You're alive, first of all, one. Number one, yep, yep. Two, you got all your 10 feet, your 10 toes or whatever, <laughs> however Nipsey says it. <laughs> right. But um, you have all of these qualifications and you're just going out there and living your dream. Yeah. That's it. You know, you know, it's crazy that you, you mentioned that because I was just talking with my fiance yesterday mm -hmm. about being grateful for where I am in my career. You know, yeah. um, if you watch my channel, you see I talk down on compliance and risk management mm -hmm. and all that stuff. But now I'm, I'm, get, I'm becoming I'm getting to a point where I'm appreciating what I've learned in my career and where right. I'm at and what I know, because, um, you know, it does pay the bills. I'm paid well. Right. And there's a lot of people that wish they could be in that position. Exactly. So, and you can take that knowledge that you've learned in compliance and everything and put it into the pen testing world. Yeah, yeah. It's all needed. Right. Like it's all intertwined. So red teamers need blue teamers. We need compliance. We mm, need everything. Yeah. yeah. And I talk bad about sticks. And I put out a video <laughs> with, the, with the crying face. Uh, I'll probably change I it. did see that video. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. There's a place for sticks too. Guys. There's a place for everything. Yes. <laughs> so if you're feeling that way, if you're a programmer or whatever, you're like, oh, I don't like programming, it all comes Appreciate into play. Yes. Your gratitude, you know, it opens the doors for other things yes. as well. So thank you for those tweets. Those it definitely inspired me. You know, I'm scrolling through and everyone's crying or whatever about stuff. <laughs> yeah. you, you got this guy and it's like, oh snap, okay, it could be a good day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now, what is mental health hackers and what's the ultimate goal for that? Great question. So with Mental Health Hackers, which um, I met with um, Amanda Berlin, and she actually like started Mental Health Hackers along with a couple other people as well. And I mean, I was floored by it. I said, oh, this is awesome, you know, because somebody's actually looking at InfoSec community. Yeah. Nobody talks about mental health in InfoSec right. community. Yeah. It's always, I'm just going through something where people silently suffer. Right. So Mental Health Hackers was a way of, and again, we're not professionals. We're not like um, psychiatrists and everything else, yeah. but what we do provide is information on say, hey, you may need to go get help, or here's the suicide prevention hotline. We provide information to help you to go get help. Right. Okay. So, I mean, that was a void that was not in the community at all. Yeah. Nobody talked about it. If they were suffering, they were suffering in silence, and you didn't know about it until something really bad happened. Yeah. And this was, this was a void that needed to be filled in the community. And Amanda and her team put it together, and I'm I'm putting a stamp on it. Nice. And okay. that's why you know, like I, I talked about mental health hackers. I, I proudly rock my shirt. Nice. Mental okay. health hackers. And so, what's the Twitter handle for this? Your website? Do it's um, Hackers Health. Hackers Health on okay. Twitter. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, mental mental health is definitely important. It's not talked about in a lot of places, a lot mm -hmm. of fields. Uh, so, where can people find you? As far as social media, Twitter. Oh, social media, um, BSD Bandit nice. on Twitter. Um, Twitch, I'm also BSD Bandit. Okay. Um, we also do a podcast called False Advertisement. I'm Grumpy Hackers, but I'm yeah, not yeah. grumpy. I didn't come up with that <laughs> name, people. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. um, we do we do that podcast at 9 p.m. on Wednesday nice. nights. Mm -hmm. um, also on the Iron Geek cast. Nice. Shout out to Iron Geek. <laughs> We're going to put all these links are going to be in the description. So. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
And of course, I'm Charles Shearer on Facebook. Like, okay. if you if you're looking for funny videos, stupid memes, I'm your guy. Okay. <laughs> Nice. And what's uh, so? What's this shirt about? Sec BSD. What's going okay, on? so Sec BSD. As you know, I'm a huge fan of BSD. And you know, over the years, it's just been all about like really just like with Cali Lennox and before that, like Backtrack, and you mm -hmm. got Pen Two. Right. But there was no real like pen testing distro in the BSD community. Right. So a couple of buddies of mine, um, shout out to Banshee, Purple Raid, Mr. Gaffey, <laughs> <laughs> oh. and Heartbleed, and Wandering Turtle, okay. and several others. Uh, just trying to. We gonna, we gonna link, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get yeah. the link from everybody. Okay. okay. <laughs> so. Um, we all came together and started putting together this distro sec BSD, which is based off of the open BSD operating system. Oh, okay. And that's how, and we're just porting a lot of the tools that Cali has. Mm -hmm. We're porting those over to the BSD side of the house. Not all of them, right. but probably like two, mm -hmm. because there's several tools that do the same thing. So let's say two of each. We'll do it like Noah's Ark. You got one of each. Right. Um, I want to thank you for coming out. Please remain positive. Put out those Twitter that's the videos. They change. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's positively affected by those every day. I'm going to put everybody he mentioned in every every site. I'm going to put in the description. So check out for that. Also, book. So for this giveaway, mm -hmm. uh, I asked BSD Bandit to provide a book that he um, likes mm -hmm. and that he's used. So we're, And we're going to give this book away on the next giveaway. Yes. And it is going to be an OSINT book. Mm -hmm. And... It's older edition, it's fifth edition, but it's still relevant to this day, so. Okay, that's gonna be the giveaway. That's so the next giveaway. Video I do. OSINT book, provided by, well, not provided by, I keep saying provided by. It's provided by me. <laughs> but he's making the suggestion. I'm, I'm, I am donating <laughs> I just, it. I just volunteered him to, to pay for this book. <laughs> no, but OSINT book is gonna be the next giveaway. Um, so if you want this book, hashtag on this video, uh, OSINT BSD Bandit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys. Appreciate you. Till the next time. We out. Later. Peace.